Where can they be? The ball is tonight. They must have taken the invitations with them. You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. Private party event. Don't mind if I do. Feeding your wife? Managing your household? No. It will be you. Madam, what a lovely address. 
Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still... Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. Now is my chance. One should not attend the Queen's Ball without making a proper entrance. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. That's the way.
One should not attend the Queen's ball without making a proper entrance. Now for the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. One should not attend the Queen's ball without making a proper entrance. Go on. You're now for the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. Let's go. Slow down. carriage you got there. Where did you buy it, if, if you don't mind me asking? Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes. And your face, voice and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's Ball tonight. How did you come by that? Freddy, there's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you, only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course. Ugh. <sighs> 
I might let you live. Charming. Now to hide the body. One uniform as requested. It's still warm. My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic.
Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them. And afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated. Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. What a mistake. Course, Miss Fry. Climb up, Your Highness. Where are we headed? Belgrave Square. Anticipating my arrival. 
Welcome, sir. Your Highness, what a surprise. <laughs> Is life not about embracing the unexpected? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people, it was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do. I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. That proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green like? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. To Parliament, please. On the double. Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Why, what are you doing here, Your Highness? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter... Good day, sir. May God bless you. Only one more remains. To the Gladstone residence. Do you miss India? I remember <laughs> that my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. But truly, when they took my mother away... To the Sinopian Club, straight away! Good day, Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Singh! You are a hard man to pin down. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. Your Majesty has tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out for their king? Britain has a duty to bring about peace. It is an enormous responsibility, and I value your guidance and advice. Much luck, Your Highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done some good. Far more than your policies thus far. But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it.
Thank you, Miss Fry, for forwarding my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad, broken even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us, cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. And to you, Your Highness.
done here. I'm not finished. Oh, you're there, Of course he'd arrive in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. Go on in, so sir, madam. Dear me. I'm soon to become a prime minister. What in the blazes is our carriage doing here? Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? I shall go and find the piece of Eden. As you wish. I'm off to meet Freddy. The plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key.
Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? My arm! What are those brigands up to now? My arm! My arm! The lady is with me. Much obliged. Madam? My arm! Gentle! Gentle! That hurts! Gentle! That hurts. That hurts. Pleasant dreams. The plans are somewhere nearby. Now for the vault. most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere.
Jacob's most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere, or accidentally pushing the Queen down a flight of stairs. There you are! <laughs> I have someone I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh, do, 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 do. come with me! <laughs> Majesty, may I present Miss Evie Fry? You are the one responsible for Mr. Gladstone's mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. I really must be going. Miss Fry, may I have this dance? Mr. Starrick, you've had your fun, but the game is over. Uh -uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing, Miss Fry. It heals all wounds. We may make mistakes while dancing. But the mazurka ends, and then we begin again. Problem is, everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and over. People can learn. Can they? Isn't everyone around you repeating the same steps? But if one man could remember the dance, could know the time, then he could change things for the better. I have had enough. This dance is nearly over. Soon, the people will forget the generation on this terrace. The ruin you nearly wrought on London. When the music ceases, Miss Fry, your time is up, and mine begins. Starek peppered the regulars with his own men and took several guards hostage. Your weapons are in there.
Now to find the real royal guards. Get you out. Thank you, sir. Thanks, mate. Still for a moment. There's something going on. <laughs> Bagger off home before I snap your neck. I'll tear you apart. Waste of time. 
The key to the waltz is one must lead with one's right foot. Oh, oh my! Everything all right, my dear? Do you require assistance? I never liked balls. <laughs> Here, the location of the vault. Go! Just like that? No plan? No time for plans. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. Doing? Exploiting. I warned you, my boy. But you do not listen. Requiem's cart and pache. Do you propose? The shroud was never meant for you! Mr. Sturrock! You forgot to escort me home! Let me rectify my mistake.
none to deserve. No one. London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. <laughs> you were. Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you gonna wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs? The chaos I caused? I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. <laughs> I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. I think you belong in the field. With me. Carriage. Nicely done, Freddy.
Mr. Abilene, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Abilene informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? Invest you all in the order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abilene implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abilene tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry? Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on. That's it. It's under the palace. Time to go. Let's get the shroud to Dr. Grammatica immediately. Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. What do we do? Killing really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. Kill them all. Leave them Contact! Cover me! That skinny piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. I want him them to bleed. Dreams that poison us, them that told us lies of their bravery. Them that preached on progress and put us in the poor house. <laughs> Them done the horrid murder on bloody stages Them that loudly crow their humility Lords and day that sung in the chapels on a Sunday All quiet now, their mouths are stopped up Hold the drill, goddammit! They lie flung in rats and make no sound Only the mission matters! Understood! Those who fought Sean! for something better Those who taught by how they live Loved ones taken long before this world is done Galena, we need an exit! We need to go now. Understood. Shroud. <laughs> 
Forget the bloody shroud. Stay with me, Bex. Please. We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the shroud. And hey, we pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the Shroud gonna help you create a new clone? It's not... When the Shroud is wrapped around the body, it scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're now making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Hello? It's me? Brought the shroud as you asked, but... I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. Anyone finds out what you've been doing. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all. Thank you. 